Okay, ready. So, as I explained yesterday, first you make your design interesting, then you make the materials and the light and the optimization. So here I'm ready. Obviously I made new materials uh, because we're going to learn the most basic animation which is the 360 turntable so obviously it's the least interesting and the most boring one to do but well let's do it <laughs> okay so the camera is there actually let's go and make the view for display of the let's make it bigger here so we can see something uh, so obviously we'll have to uh, adapt many things uh, okay but obviously for 360 let's make a bezier circle why a bezier circle because it's smoother than any mesh and anyway the the camera is going to follow a curve so here we are uh, let's make it uh, well the size of this basically so the camera is going to be at zero if um, yeah, more or less we're going to move it there so I'm going to match to the, the actual uh, viewpoint of the camera because I like it Obviously, maybe the floor won't have the correct size yet of the light. So I have one area light and just one HDR environment. This is pretty good. Um, okay, so now the camera. I'm going to make a copy of the camera because uh, if I lose the viewpoint, uh, well, it would be. Anyway, let's call it animated camera. Okay, um, so the camera is going to have um, an object constraint and we're going to use the follow path. So the path is the circle. Okay, so the, the camera moved uh, far, far away. Let's, let's say it's lost, lost into space, but we don't really care at first uh, just make the resolution of the circle uh, smoother okay now the camera we need to reset the position now we can see that the camera is on the circle it's not looking at the ring which is a slight problem but we can also add uh, we are going to add a uh, child of or track to uh, target or full track. Uh, I think it's a track to. We're going to track it to the dove. Here we are. That's perfect. So now the camera is looking at the empty, that's my depth of field set right here. And we're gonna go check, okay now, uh, we all know that 24 frames is one second of animation. Uh, the normal is 250 there. That will be something around 10 seconds. That's pretty good. Well, that's nothing at all, in fact. Very soon with the animation, you are going to understand your hard hardware problem and time. Why? Um, the still frame of this, this is the, the image. This has only 200 samples, which is very low. In fact, it had, had good, uh, good denoising, so it's working. The quality is, is good, but it's just good. It's, let's say, acceptable, but it's not, it's not very high quality. And this is HD, this, um, this image is not 4K, okay? So uh, this is, uh, let's say, really a regular quality. 
Now that image, this image took three minutes to render with two GPUs. Three minutes. Now do an easy calculation. Three minutes per frame. We have two hundred and fifty frame. That's seven hundred and fifty minutes. Uh, it's more than 10 hours of render. It's uh, more than 12 hours of renders. It's 12 hours and a half. For 250 frames that are going to resume to 10 seconds of animation, which is boom. Boom. It's nothing. So making animation is another world. If you're used to make designs and renders, that's cool. If, if you're not used to make animations, you're going to have to change your entire concept of time, rend, uh, rendering time. Okay, you, you could use a render farm, but then the costs. Uh, rendering, uh, well, is getting cheaper, but nonetheless, it's expensive to render. And if you want it at good quality, uh, I'm, I said uh, 12 hours at a very regular quality, which is this. It looks cool, but this is not even 4K. And nowadays, well, basically at pro levels, we need to make 4Ks at least because the 8K is entering. Yeah, this year is it's here, even 16K for textures. So this is just uh, dope. It's not trash but it's not very high quality anyway so uh, i've put the camera on the track uh, the circle and it's uh, tracking the um, that uh, empty uh, point there so um we can so nobody's moving yet because we need to go to pat animation we're gonna set it to 250 frames. That's uh, that's what we have, and we need to go back to the camera. Check this, and we need to make the animate path. Okay, when now that's done, and the camera is going all over, all around the circle. So we can make a preview. Just hit space, and it's going like that. First, you need to check that the trajectory of the camera is working okay we have this and now it's starting uh, over again so that's good because i put the same amount of frame on the follow path and on the path animation and uh, let's go to the camera view and let's so the horizon of the plane is right there i have a very strong depth of field so it looks very good, but we need to check. Uh, ah, sorry. <laughs> I need to change my main camera here uh, to the animated camera. Thank you. Okay, so now we're gonna see and uh, we're gonna start have. Uh, well, let's see the problems that we're gonna have. Well, this is a problem. I don't want the ring, obviously. Something important is that we're tracking the uh, the point that's on the stone at the front here. But what I'm going to change is that I'm going to take the ring, make a shift S cursor to selected. Uh, no, not even. Um, well, I, I'm going to have to center. I'm going to make a new empty plane axis. There it is. And let's center the best possible here and uh, there. Let's choose uh, like that. Uh, I could change, obviously. Let's put it here. No, down here. Okay, so I'm going to track the camera now to that new empty uh, here. Uh, it's the empty now all right and let's go again it's a bit better because the point is closer to the okay but here 
at frame okay 10 we can see that we're coming out a bit i can try to see if i can adjust this and obviously this is a very close call or because i'm very close to the edges and let's have a look okay now also the plane there well i can move it but it might affect obviously the the ground the floor that the texture i have because the joints of the texture depending on the type of tex uh, texture but now I have paper on the floor so i have an image texture which is obviously the not the best idea but uh well i really like that texture for this room okay anyway let's have a look at a render preview uh we have this but that's pretty nice there let's see if i can move it further okay that's pretty good um but not there <laughs> that's not good at all where is the okay it's very far here so obviously then you're gonna see it it's funny to make uh, animation but at first it's might be very frustrating if you're not used to that because you adapt you adjust you correct on one side but it goes wrong on the other side so um oh sometimes when i move the screen too much the one of the graphic cards gets upset uh that's more a problem with 292 uh blender version but i'm saving every second almost so let's have a look okay obviously let's bring the the plane at zero there and make it bigger i guess now let's check the animation again uh i'm very close to the edge i'm very close to to the the ring which is um oh this is a bit too close there again so obviously I can make the circle a bit bigger. This should work nicely now. Let's have, so hit space. Oh. <laughs> ah, wait a second. Uh, my new camera. Let's have a look at the clipping plane. Yes, the clipping plane is correct. And on the view, uh, this is more because of this, I guess. Let's go also to 12,000, no. But the plane is too small still let's make it bigger but every time i make it bigger so it needs to be very big obviously with the depth of field it's not too bad it's a bit easier uh even the the floor can be cut off a bit okay now we're pretty good but now i need to have a look and make at least you need to make render tests a couple um, that's weird I think the floor has I need to check if it comes from the material because I made it a bit reflective with metal metallic here that brings a bit more colors to the floor no that's funny <laughs> so let's bring it back there uh even a bit more i have ah but it's because it's too close still no then that's weird that's where the it might be the camera ah oh, yeah it is it's a very big number okay let's make a quick well let's make <coughs> one render test of this okay but basically you just learned how to make the camera follow a curve and um, 
uh, tracking uh, another object and because we're following a curve that's following a path which is uh, one simple way to make an animation uh, we don't need to use keyframes and start using the graph editor and other part of the software so um, this is basically enough to start with something and um, to make the turntable okay uh, this is interesting it looks very good so this animation is going to be uh, very interesting I will make um, several uh, a couple of variants of this animation uh, but this is going to be the turntable so um, as you can see we're rendering so this is just one minute and 20 seconds of rendering but you're gonna see that it's going to take around two or three minutes and this is just one frame so like I said you're gonna have the very unpleasing surprise to see that the render times for an animation and also the space because um, generally if you're saving in PNG ah, okay just then give me a second I just want to see what happens in the corner there okay this is weird that that corner there is very weird but that's uh, that's unexpected it's because of the dove I think it's a small bug from the the very small depth of field uh, that's a bit weird because it shouldn't do that obviously because the plane is uh, is big enough now it's very big even so uh, let me see if that happens on other parts of the animation it does does. that's weird it? always it's uh it's the murphy's law we always need to have a problem during demonstrations that side is okay that side is okay all the other sides are okay let me see if I something this like that so all the rest is okay, but uh, maybe centering it. I was frame fifty six. It's very well. No, that's a lot of that's a lot of frames making that well that's weird that's all anyway okay let's go back to uh, something uh, okay so to render the animation you need to to check uh, you're gonna do a PNG sequence uh, uncompressed if you're gonna use the alpha put with alpha otherwise put only the, uh, the RGB zero compression uh, put a, and then choose a uh, let's make a directory here new directory here uh, let's call that uh, frames <laughs> that's a directory let's put a name so turn table anim frame enter the save so now it's going to save all the frames with that name and the extension which is the number of the frame and then you just go to render and render animation and blender is going to render every frame then you need to make uh, to use any uh, video editor software so that's something out of uh, of this uh, video let me just set my paper to something as you control a scale for any 
reason we've got hole one, hole one, hole one. And I guess that's too small now. Let's go five, five, five. Uh, that's that's bad. It's got point one. And that's also pretty bad. But I'm going to move it a bit on the y axis. So five and minus point oh two. So my My paper here looks pretty good now. I just have that very weird, very, very weird effect on the horizon. Let me have a look at. Yep. Okay. Now at least we know where it comes from. Yeah, it's what I said at the beginning. The very small depth of field make that artifact on the horizon. I could try a, mm, a slightly bigger 0 0.6, 0 0.3, let's go 0 0.2 if possible, okay, 0 0.25, 0 0.3. Obviously, you can also correct and every filmmaker or animation maker knows that sooner or later you are going to correct uh, an animation uh, frame frame by frame like it used to be in the old days uh, this is still something that is totally uh, real Okay, let's make another render test somewhere here. What do I mean, render? Okay, we're still too far. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty good. We're going to see the brand right there. This is really nice but on the horizon so what I could do but that's not always good to do I'm going to take the, the, the plane make an extrusion make this the bad part of doing that is that uh, it can affect the light and uh, sometimes we don't want that because it can make some weird shadows uh, here and there yep it is making uh, weird shadows yeah it's affecting the light so I'm going to try to put it down what did I do <laughs> wrong selection I want to let's go back to this let's go back to uh, vertex points uh, it's not even selected Okay, so details, you know, details, just details, details. I'm going to bring it as low as possible. That's just a very special uh, artifact on the horizon. Actually, I, I had never had uh, encountered that problem. But yes, it's changing the light, uh, and I don't like that. So... So I can change, I can change, let's erase, uh, let's erase those vertices. Okay, let's go back here. Also it was changing the texture. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take the circle, which is the trajectory. I'm going to put it higher like this. And uh, now we're we're good i guess 
let's have a look at the light uh, also because yeah the light my area light right there is showing up on the render too strongly and that's not so good so we're going to go back so that yeah okay i'm going to make it bigger and that's another problem you're gonna face the positions of the lights uh, in order to not affect the scene that it doesn't appear on the render well the best way is not to use artificial lights but the problem with that is that well actually I could let's let's have a look what happens without that light uh, do I have good lights on the gemstones uh, yes uh, now let's make the f that stronger again that's a bit too strong for 85 looks good though looks looks nice very nice contrast the color problems like I think this is too saturated um, I prefer to correct that after the rendering um, than, than now because if suddenly I want to make effects and that involving the colors I do want a very saturated render okay so this is looking pretty good so this, this will check all around the place if uh, everything looks nice it does look nice and uh, here we are we're ready to render this and uh, yes it's going to take many many hours so yes uh, my computer is somewhere in my house where i can leave it on rendering all the time uh, obviously that also is well because uh, well electricity you need to pay obviously it involves some costs and then you can well you're affecting obviously your hardware you're wearing it so uh, sooner or later you'll have to buy a new uh, GPU and a new CPU also and uh, well that's all the pleasure of making animations and um, okay so this is all set up already uh, I explain how to save the output here uh, make the turntable check your lights your materials and uh, well um, have fun have fun making animations now you can you can do the famous uh, turntable um, so that was obviously uh, a quicker explanation but this was a more to the point explanation and I'm very happy with what I'm seeing here. So I will be making the render of this uh, for the, uh, the channel and you know, for marketing and, and all of that. That's why I wanted to make a very attractive jewel. And I'm going to make more than just a turntable. Uh, so I will be working on this for a couple of weeks, I guess, one or two weeks. Um, but anyway, so again, have fun, take care and see you soon.